Now, I know we're just heading into the summer here in the UK and let's hope for a nice, warm, dry, sunny one this year. I've got all my fingers crossed for that, that's for sure. So at the moment, there's not really much need for a running head torch in our training with the days obviously getting a lot longer, but there is still lots of ultra distance events going on and you might be required to run through a nighttime section and you are definitely gonna need a running head torch for that. So in today's video, we are taking our full in-depth look a new running head torch from the Phoenix brand and it is their HL32RT. This is the latest addition to their trail running range. It is packed full of some great features and some great tech. So let's take a closer look and let's dive into the video. Welcome back folks and thanks for joining us again at the channel. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure, your friendly running related YouTube channel. And we cover every aspect of running, whether it be out on the trails or running on the roads. Now, if you follow the channel for any period of time, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Phoenix head torches and my go-to torch for the last couple of years has been their super bright, really well-constructed HM65RT. Uh, it's never let me down in all my training miles and racing miles, and it's become a very popular head torch in that ultra running world. But I'd say the torch we're looking at today is kind of its lighter, more compact younger brother. So what we're gonna do first is run you through all the features and all the specs of the HL32RT. So things like max output, burn time, the lighting modes, weight, etc. And then we're gonna go into how it's actually performed when I've been using it over the last month or so. And then finishing up, we're gonna compare the three running head torches in the Phoenix trail running lineup. So we've obviously got, like I just mentioned, the HM65RT. We've also got the lighter, less powerful HL18RT. And then obviously the torch we're looking at today, the HL32RT, to maybe help you decide which of those running head torches suits your needs best. So first up, it is a fully rechargeable unit. And I personally think that is the only way to go these days with our running head torches. Now that that technology is pretty affordable, you know, the last thing you want to be doing is going out every week and buying new batteries to go in your running head torch because one, it is a complete false economy and two, it's not great for the planet. Speaking of affordability and the HL32RT retails in the UK for $79.95 and for that you obviously get the head unit itself, you also get the Phoenix ARB LP 1900 milliamp rechargeable battery, we've got a handy little user guide and you get the USB-C cable that you need to charge it up with. Even though it is fully rechargeable, the unit will also run off standard AAA batteries if you really need to use them, say in the case of an emergency, which I personally think is a great uh, option to have when it comes to our running head torches. The battery, the unit and the strap weigh in at a very light 107 grams and a lot of that weight reduction comes down to the, the clever design but also the use of magnesium alloy on that head casing construction. You can see on the front of the unit that we've actually got two light sources on the HL32RT. So we've obviously got the main beam, but we've also got a nice wide flood. So that allows you to have really good close proximity lighting, but you've also got that powerful beam that's gonna pick things out in the distance. So really good when it comes to sort of navigating at night, whether you're training or racing, that's gonna help you pick out the next way marker or find the next coast path sign. All the lighting modes are controlled by these two really good sized, well-placed, easy to reach buttons on top of the unit. And Phoenix have even worked in a little set of instructions by each button, just in case you forget how your head torch works. I've gotta be honest, it is super easy to flick through the functions and I'm not sure you're gonna be needing those instructions. I just wanted to jump in here, folks, to let you know that the kind folk from Phoenix have given us one of their HL16 compact lightweight head torches to give away to one lucky viewer. It's got a max output of 450 lumens and a red light feature and lots more. We've also got a very cool Phoenix multi-wrap thrown in for good measure. So all you have to do to have a chance of winning the head torch is obviously follow this YouTube channel Channel, run for adventure then pop along to Instagram and follow the run for adventure and Phoenix page on there and then under this picture in our feed tag in two of your running buddies the competition is going to run for two weeks and then we're going to be picking out one lucky winner at random so don't miss out and get yourselves entered guys 
But let's get back to the review. As far as lighting performance goes, when it comes to that main beam on max output, you're gonna get a very bright 800 lumens. That's gonna give you a really impressive 132 meter beam length and around about three hours burn time. Dropping it down to mid setting, you're gonna get 200 lumens, 66 meter beam length, and around eight hours of burn time. And then we've got the lowest setting of 70 lumens, so definitely not bright enough to run with, but you'll still get a beam length of 33 meters and an impressive battery life of 20 hours. Interesting fact, you can actually access that low beam mode of 70 lumens while you're charging the unit up. And I personally think that's a great feature to have in our running head torches. Moving on to that secondary light source, and that's the flood beam. And on max power, you get 200 lumens, you get a 30 meter beam length, and around about eight hours of battery life. Mid setting gives you 70 lumens, 17 meters, and you get uh, 20 hours of burn time. And then going down to the lowest setting of five lumens, not really sure what you're gonna use five lumens for in the running world. Maybe if you're reading a book while you're camping or maybe in a case of an emergency, that's gonna give you 150 hours. And it's also got a handy SOS mode. So if you activate that, the torch is gonna to flash out uh, SOS in case you get in any difficulties. So you can see, you get a good burn time, good at max output for a pretty small, lightweight, compact unit. Unfortunately, you can't use the main beam and the flood together like you can with the HM65RT. You have to pick one or the other, which I personally think is a bit of a shame. We've got a really good level of adjustment on that front bezel, so you should be able to set the head torch up to the right angle for you. We've got a really nice clear battery indicator on the front of the unit using four small blue LED lights. So that's gonna let you know how much charge you've got left in that battery. We also get a good lock off mode. So if you hold down those two top buttons for three seconds, the flood beam's gonna flash to let you know that that head torch is completely locked off. So if you've got it stuffed in your race vest or in a bag and you're traveling to a race, it's not gonna turn on and run your batteries down. And this is definitely a feature you wanna have in your running head torches. Phoenix have also got an IP66 weatherproof rating and an impact rating of two meters. So definitely gonna hold up to a good old British winter and all the wear and tear that we put our running head torches through. Like all the units in the Phoenix trail running lineup, the HL32RT comes with this nice, wide, comfortable, highly breathable, adjustable head strap. We got lots of small perforations worked in there to increase airflow, and we got some really bright high-vis detailing for safer nighttime running. When you want to adjust that strap, it couldn't be any easier using the Phoenix or BOA-like wheel system on the side. Literally give it a turn, that's going to tighten the cord system up to your desired fit. When you need to loosen it, just pull up on that dial and that will slacken the cord off. It really is a, a great, simple system to get that head strap set up to your sort of right fitting uh, for your head size, but it also makes it very easy to make any sort of micro adjustments when you're out running on the trails. And finally, a new feature from the brand and the HL32RT incorporates a frequency sensor. I'm sure this is the, the first head torch in their lineup to actually have it. So this is gonna react to your cadence, how quickly you're turning your legs over. So the torch will actually light up the trails further ahead as you up the pace. Obviously, this feature can only function if you are running the torch in one of its lower settings below that 800 lumens max output. So a nice new bit of tech from the brand and something I haven't seen in a running head torch before. So there you have it folks, the latest trail running offering from the Phoenix brand, the HL32RT. All the features, all the tech that are packed into this lightweight compact unit. But let's dive into how it's been performing and talking about weight, I've been really impressed with how light this unit is with the battery in considering you've got a max output that's gonna light up most situations and a pretty good burn time. Obviously, not as impressive as its big brother, the HM65RT, when it comes to brightness and battery life, but I really did notice the weight difference, and this unit actually weighs in almost 40 grams lighter than the HM65RT. With those two big buttons easy to reach on the top, it makes it very easy to switch the light on and off when you've got the torch on your head, and this is one of the reasons I like the Phoenix units so much, because everything's really simplified, straightforward, but really well engineered. Also having those two big buttons, very simple to flick through the modes, even when you're running at speed. 
Simple to charge the unit up, just remove that little rubber bung in the side there, plug in the USB-C, and this will actually go from zero to fully charged in just under three hours. And also the fact that you can utilize those two low modes while you've got the unit charging up is a great feature to have and that could really get you out of some tricky situations. I've always been a big fan of the adjustable strap and BOA system that Phoenix use on their trail running lineup. I've always found it very comfortable, highly breathable, and like I said, super simple to adjust on the fly. Even if I'm wearing it for long periods of time, say in races like the Arc or like I did at the TDS last year, I've got to say it though, I do tend to wear a beanie or a buff when I'm running with a head torch because I just think it really does improve comfort, but it also helps when it comes to sort of controlling movement or bounce if you're running quickly. Another thing I've definitely got to mention, and this comes down to cleaning the strap on the HM65RT. It was very hard because you couldn't detach the strap from the unit, which made it really difficult. So great to see that Phoenix have put two little splits on the back of the case on the HL32RT, so you can really easily unclip that head strap and give it a thorough cleaning, which is definitely good to see. So a big kudos to the Phoenix brand for listening to its customers. And lastly, as always from the Phoenix brand, the construction is first class. The magnesium alloy used on that head casing feels really well engineered, as do the big buttons on the top, the head strap, and that dial adjustment wheel on the side. We get a real nice sort of sturdy click as we work our way through the adjustment on the bezel there. And all those features just scream quality manufacturing. The only thing I would mention, and it's something I said earlier in the review, it would be great if you could use the two light outputs simultaneously. So have the flood and the main beam working together. Uh, I'm a big fan of this in my running head torches. It gives me that really good sort of close proximity lighting, but you've got that long beam length so you can pick things out in the distance. And I just think that setup works really well in a trail running environment. I'd also like to see the mid setting of that main beam and the uh, max output of the floodlight at maybe closer to 300 lumens, even if it did mean sacrificing a bit of battery life, because I've been out on the trails with a torch at 200 lumens and sometimes it is quite hard, uh, especially if you're moving uh, over technical terrain and moving quite quickly to actually make out what's coming up. Whereas a step up to 300 lumens is a big, big difference and it really does help uh, sort of light the trail up a lot clearer ahead of you if you're moving at speed. But apart from that, I've been really happy with how the torch has performed while we've been testing it. And as far as comparing it to the other Phoenix torches in their trail running lineup goes, I personally think with the introduction of the HL32RT, it's kind of cancelled out the HL18RT because this unit is a lot brighter at 800 lumens, but the burn time on the battery is pretty much identical. And there is only a sort of 15 or 16 pound price difference between the two. So I think that makes the HL32RT a much better sort of long-term trail running investment. I think when it comes to comparing it to their top of the range HM65RT, it's a lot trickier to pick between the two. They both give good output, good burn time. And I think it would just come down to the type of race I was running at that time. If it was something like, say, the Arc of Attrition, where you could be out there in a winter's night for 13 hours, or something like the TDS or UTMB, where you're probably gonna run through two nights, I would probably still take the HM65RT with me. This torch has been tried and tested through that type of conditions and it passed with flying colors and it's never let me down. However, if I was say taking on a summer 100 miles and I had to run through the, a shorter night in the summer, then the HL32RT is more than capable of handling that with the output and the burn time. And we mustn't forget, it's also 40 grams lighter and you really do notice that when you're running with it. So there you have it folks, another running gear review crushed here at the channel. Now I've been using Phoenix head torches for probably around the last two years and I always get excited when I hear whispers of development of new torches coming out and when we get them in for testing and the new HL32RT definitely didn't disappoint. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link for all three units in the description below if you want to check them out in any more detail. I'll also link down below some of the other head torch reviews that we've done on the channel just in case you are looking for a new unit. Uh, also, if you feel I've missed anything or you've got any questions at all about head torches, 
Get them in the comments below and we'll try our very best to get back to you. Also guys, don't forget that we have just opened the pre-orders for the summer edition Run For Adventure technical short sleeve tees. We've got men's and women's fit available. They are constructed out of 100% recycled polyester. We've got some nice mesh side paneling for extra ventilation and some high vis stitching to keep you nice and safe when you're running at night. And obviously some pretty cool Run For Adventure details. The pre-orders aren't going to be open long so you really don't want to miss out so if you go along to runforadventure.uk or you follow the link in the description and get those pre-orders in guys so you can be flying the run for adventure flag this summer but until next time guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel it really is appreciated by myself and Liga. we'll be back here very very soon and as always stay safe and keep on running now, I know we're just about to head into summer here in the UK, and I'm really hoping that we do get a dry, warm, sunny one this year. So I've got all my, all my, all my fingers crossed. Phoenix ARB LP 1900 milliamp rechargeable battery. You also get the USB-C card to charge, card? No, USB-C card. Phoenix have even worked in a little set of instructions by each button, just in case you forget how to use your head torch. I've got to be easy. Uh, easy. I've got to be easy. I've just got to be easy. I've got to be easy and it's really straightforward. <laughs>